This is the biggest aquaponics farm in the world. Farming without soil. How is it possible to do that? Well, it surely happens, and there have been places that have acquired the largest farms for it. Is it shocking to hear? Well, it's all true. So do you want to know more about it? Continue watching this video so we can clarify all your doubts. What is meant by the aquaponics farm? We'll talk about that first. Aquaponics is a method of farming that combines recirculating aquaculture, in which fish are raised in tanks, with hydroponics, in which plants are grown without soil. In the farming method known as aquaponics, the nutrient-dense water that the fish produce is used as a natural fertilizer for the plants, while the plants also help to clean the water that is used for the fish. It is possible that after visiting these farms, you will not immediately become specialists, but you will understand how to begin what to look out for, how to respond to problems that have happened, and more. According to Sommerfeld, Superior Fresh is the largest aquaponic producer in the U.S., and we think in the world. And it was the first commercial land-based Atlantic salmon farm in the USA to deliver its products to market. It presently exceeds predictions by producing about 100 tons of salmon and trout annually. The company's chief science officer was pleased to call the facility the ultimate IMTA, or Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture, during his presentation at Aquaculture 2019. Zero waste is produced at our facility, where one ton of fish and six to ten tons of greens are harvested from one ton of feed. I'm delighted. We planned it to produce just over 70 tons of salmon and steelhead, and our production manager, Kyle, has optimized the system. We still have wonderful fish, but he's pushed the biomass density to 25 to 30 percent over our output objective, he said. They hope to raise fish production capacity by 500 tons a year after successfully selling salmon averaging four to five kilograms grams in size every week since July, as well as sporadic harvests of steelhead averaging 2 to 3 kilograms. The current three-acre greenhouse now produces 600 to 1,000 tons of greens annually for retail and wholesale, and in April, work will begin on a new three-acre greenhouse. In his talk, Sommerfeld emphasized that pragmatic considerations, rather than ideals, should drive one to aquaponics. While working at the Freshwater Institute for the Conservation Fund, he contributed to the building's design. However, the team ultimately settled on aquaponics rather than the more conventional RAS method because of Wisconsin's stringent restrictions. He elaborated, We chose aquaponics not only for economic reasons, but also to conform to our regulatory framework. The impact on the environment is tightly controlled in Wisconsin. Unless you were on this little bit of river that we didn't have access to, you have to discharge your phosphorus levels at less than a part per billion which is very difficult to get to. When considering water purification, we came up with the idea of aquaponics, and the Freshwater Institute conducted studies on the use of effluent in aquaponics for the cultivation of basil and lettuce a few years back. To that end, he continued, the building was constructed strictly in accordance with all necessary permits. He emphasized how dissimilar it is to more conventional aquaponics setups. This is nothing like the conventional mom-and-pop aquaponics setup in which the water quality isn't superb and pure oxygen isn't used to boost growth, as the author puts it. To reiterate, this is an agribusiness that employs cutting-edge methods throughout, he said. Sommerfeld was also adamant about emphasizing the importance of maintaining consistently good quality across the board while selling the food grown by Superior Fresh. To make a difference and establish a foothold in the food industry, he claimed, you have to genuinely produce amazing food. We're not trained to be green, we just want a profitable product, he said. The fact that their fish is considered a best pick by Seafood Watch and that their leafy greens are certified organic by the USDA is a plus, he said. He noted, however, that there is more to customer satisfaction than simply meeting certification requirements. A great fish needs to taste wonderful, look perfect, and be what people expect when they go buy salmon, he said. If the company's expansion ambitions are any indication, the strategy must be working. He said, we're looking on both coasts and are planning to expand to 15 acres on site. So, that's it for today's video. If you want to see more videos such as this, don't forget to like our video and consider hitting that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.